Welcome. We're talking about Siggy Caps. It's the mnemonic that gives you the symptoms for major depressive disorder. You also need it to rule out major depressive episodes when diagnosing dysthymic disorder. So where did the mnemonic come from? Well, you may have seen SIG written on scripts. That means to give directions. The E is for energy and CAPS is for capsules. So Siggy Caps means to give energy capsules. So here we go. S is for sleep. So it's often decreased at night and increased during the day. I is for interest or anhedonia. G is for guilt or worthlessness. So people tend to devalue themselves. The elderly tend to feel more worthless. The younger patients feel more guiltful. E is for lack of energy, fatigue. C is for concentration and cognition. So it's very important that you rule out depression in elderly patients before diagnosing them with Alzheimer's disease. A lot of old patients are depressed. A is for appetite. It's decreased most often leading to weight loss. However, in atypical depression, people often gain weight, so it's, it's the opposite. P is for psychomotor, either agitation, where your patients are going to appear anxious, or psychomotor retardation, where they're going to be more lethargic and stuck in the mud. And of course, S is for suicidal ideation. So start thinking about how you're going to make the diagnosis of a major depressive episode. Okay, good. So major depressive disorder is diagnosed by the DSM-4 as five of the mentioned symptoms present during the same two-week period representing a change from the previous functioning or baseline, essentially. The next part is at least one of those symptoms is either depressed mood or a loss of interest or pleasure. Now, dysthymic disorder actually looks a little more difficult than it really is. The question stem will tell you that the symptoms have been going on for more than two years. And you may have to figure this part out, but the patient has not met criteria for a major depressive episode within that same two-year time frame. And that will give you your diagnosis.